Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another Fate Grand Order video. So, we're here once again with Worth the Roll and uh, Nidal Chris Alter. She just got announced, she got released, and uh, she's just really, really cool. I definitely want her, but at the same time, she's permanent, so I don't really need to roll for her and waste my Saint Quartz. There could be limited servants coming out next week for Lost Build Chapter 7. I'm still playing the game or the story right now, so in a way, I'm actually spoiling my Myself. Again, I don't know if she's in part one or part two, but um, Nino Chris Alter, again, she just looks really, really cool. I saw her Ascension Arts, and um, I mean, I'm not going to spoil them here, but she is just awesome looking. But here we go. We're going to talk about Nino Chris Alter, Avenger. Can she loop? Yes, but at the same time, she does need help at uh, some quests. Like most quests, she can actually do it, but you're definitely going to need. Uh, some help from your uh, mystic codes and maybe even another support servant to actually officially loop with her uh, but she can do it on specific quests but let's go ahead and talk about her a little bit so because she is an avenger she does have pretty high attack so 1600 205 hp 1500 823 with the grills and foes uh, star absorption 31 star generation 6% mp charge on attack 0.37 MP charge on defense, 5%. And then um, her card deck, she has one quick, three arts, which definitely you want to see if you're an arts servant. And then a buster, it's three hits, four hits, three hits, and then five hits with the extra. So uh, that's obviously ideal for an arts servant. And uh, her skills, so she has uh, increased arts and buster performance up to three turns. This is 20 to 30%. That's definitely something you want to see as an Avenger, uh, the Buster at least, but uh, the Arts as well because, she, again, she is an Arts Servant. And then she can also recover her own HP for three turns, 1,000 to 2,000 uh, HP, which is really nice. So she has some kind of survivability. Uh, second skill uh, is Charge Own MP. So this is obviously Nidocris, so she can charge her MP to 100, which is really awesome. So, uh, I, again, I, I do think 50% is going to be the norm for now on 100% uh, obviously not every servant is going to have 100% but I th of course specific servants will get that but this is also um, a key skill that will help her loop because of the uh, the battery charge uh, but receive buff success rate 20 to 40 percent and then receive buff success rates uh, um, inflict I'm sorry so grant party good alignment for one turn increase that uh, success rate for one turn uh, 20 to 40 percent and inflict all enemies evil alignment for one turn reduces all enemy receive buff success rate for one turn uh, 10 to 20 percent so that's pretty cool she has some demerits uh, or not demerits I'm sorry she has a debuffer and uh, a buffer as well and then third skill um, increase parties are performance for three turns so that's really nice so not only does she give it to herself but she also gives it to the party so that is a 50 percent arts buff towards uh her so that's actually again really cool so she can do a lot more damage with her mp uh 60 chance to grant evasion to allies with good alignment for one attack three turns so it's not guaranteed but it's still a little bit higher than 50 percent uh chance to grant debuff immunity to allies was good alignment for one time three turns but you got to remember good alignment that's the trait that the servant party members need in order to you know possibly get these buffs um and then 60 percent chance to grant insta kill immunity to allies with good alignment for one time three turns so I mean, the, those are like, okay, like those are whatever. It's on, they're like an added bonus, honestly, but at the same time, um, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, again, the, the most important thing is that she does more damage with uh, with her MP with this. Uh, next, we have her passive skills. So um, I think these are typical Avenger uh, passives, right? Um, I mean, Man Enhancement E, Adventure D, D, D++, uh, Oblivion Correction, Self Replenishment, Divinity EX. Yeah, the typical, you know, the Avenger uh, passives. And then... Um, um, a pen skill, uh, anti-caster attack damage, so basically increase uh, more uh, her damage against casters. Um, and then her noble phantasm, uh, Nefuru Suen Anubis, uh, unseal the path to my beautiful underworld. So this is an AoE, so a lot of us are looking at this like, oh, she can loop. But when you look at her effects, deal damage to all enemies, deals 150% extra damage against enemies with man attributes, so that's really nice. So that obviously helps out with the loop. Uh, um, I've seen videos already where 
she can regain up to like 50 to 52 percent so that's obviously great if you have castoria in your party you can definitely bring that uh, up to 100 percent with just one castoria uh 50 percent chance to insta kill all enemies so that's kind of where um the looping kind of like oh can she really loop but um, she can she can gain a lot of MP back. That, that's that's the good part. 100% uh, chance to insta kill all enemies with evil alignment. So um, yeah, she basically has a 150% uh, chance to do uh, insta kill to evil alignment enemies, which is again really cool. But uh, here here's the thing again, the looping part. She can loop. She can. Uh, but she's gonna definitely need some help. Um, she can three turn. Um, I mean, again, you have that 100% MP battery for her, from herself. You can keep that for uh, um, turn number three, or you can, you know, shoot that right off in turn number one, and um, you can uh, regain up to like again. I said earlier, 50 to 52% uh, with her MP, and um, you can just use one Castoria to uh, to you know get her to 100%. Um, I have seen instances where um, she fights against Berserkers where it's like 38-39% I think um, MP battery or uh, uh, MP gauge uh, regain. So uh, you probably will need a Mystic Code or another Servant to help her. Uh, I have seen um, videos where you do need to have... Uh, um, a mystic code with arts buffs. I think that's probably the summer one I think is probably the best because it has arts buffs on it um, You can you know increase her uh, Her arts buff on there. Uh, I have seen um, some use a mystic code with like an MP generation so that she can get she can gain a little bit more MP after using her MP uh, but yeah, I, I do think um, she could uh, do some pretty wild damage uh, she can loop but on specific quests uh, she will need some help on some some of them like berserkers for sure like she won't be able to loop on berserkers unless you have uh, more support so um, just two castoras probably won't do uh, you definitely need some more on like high-end quests um, but uh, I mean when it comes to like uh, the what do you call it, the QP uh, farming and stuff like that, uh, she is able to loop. So uh, that's definitely really cool. So if you want to, you know, use something different against QP or EXP looping, then hey, she she's nice. And not, not only that, again, she has a really nice design. Uh, her MP is really cool as well. And um, yeah, I actually think she's just really cool. And again, um, her overcharge, increased on MP damage for one turn, this activates first. So yeah, she does pretty good damage with her MP, and um, yeah, I, again, I, I think she's actually a really cool servant to have, and uh, personally, uh, I'm not rolling for her because she's permanent, and you guys know me, um, if they're permanent, I'm just going to wait for them to spook me, you, you guys know that, uh, but I, I do think she is pretty much worth the roll, like I would roll for her instantly right now if she was limited. But um, I, I think she's really cool. I, I think she's definitely going to be great in um, uh, some pretty cool quests. Like maybe I'm not sure about challenge quests because we haven't really seen um, any footage yet. I mean, we have some challenge quests that we can try out, but uh, I haven't seen anything yet. I haven't tried it out yet, obviously. Uh, but I, I, I think Nidalechris is just super cool, and um, yeah, I think she's uh, worth the roll. I mean, just the design, I think, is just <laughs> worth it. Like, again, I said this early, uh, in my last video, uh, I'm not the biggest Nidalechris fan, but uh, Alter here um, is making me into a Nidalechris fan. But uh, yeah, it's basically going to be about it. Nidalechris Alter is definitely um, a servant that you probably want to check out. Uh, again, she can loop on specific quests. Uh, if she wants to loop on uh, on harder quests, you definitely need a couple more support. Again, uh, probably a Mystic Code or uh, another Servant like Oberon to help her out. Um, or anyone that can help out uh, gain MP, like, you know, uh, Waver or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I think she is definitely um, a pretty cool servant. I, I Again, I haven't seen all the setups yet, but I can already imagine, okay, I can probably use Hohenheim. I can probably use this servant to, uh, to do something. I can see a lot of different um, uh, art, arts party patterns here to, uh, to do stuff. But, yeah, I, I think Cat Double Castoria is obviously uh, the way to go here because uh, I'm arts, right? Um, yeah, I, I think Nilkris Alter is pretty pretty strong. Um, but I, again, I do think uh, the Summer Mystic Code, um, the Hawaiian one, is probably what you want to use for her. I, I think that's probably the best setup. Uh, Double Castoria, Hawaiian, um, 
Mystic Code. And um, yeah, I think that's probably what you want to do there. She, she, she's pretty cool. I, I, I like her a lot and I'm definitely, uh, you know, roll for her if anything. But that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Nilda Chris Alter. Are you going to be rolling for her? And uh, what kind of setups are you going to be doing? I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.